right, everybody, it's been 15 days since I started the Single Seed Challenge here on Down Home Backyard Gardening for 2023. And already the plants are about two to three inches tall. I'm gonna show them in just a minute. And then I have an announcement coming from the second grade classroom. So all you kiddos, you know it's about to come. And then I'm gonna show you all what to do with tomato plants when they get to about two to three, four inches tall to help make them a strong, uh, viable, mature plant down the road. So as always, let's grow. As you can see, there's the two single seed challenge plants and you can already see the top of the second grade classrooms plant right there. Now look at how good that plant is doing. And then mine is right there. Also doing really, really, really good. Both these plants are doing great. So now that we've seen the plants, let's do the announcement. Okay, so if you all remember from the very beginning of this year's Single Seed Challenge, I gave the kiddos homework to come up with a name for their plant. Now the first year that we did this and that the teacher had the Single Seed Challenge in her room, the students named their plant Sunshine and I named my plant Del Sol. Last year's Single Seed Challenge plant was named Moonlight by the second grade classroom, so I named mine Starbright. I like to always keep the names in the same genre, in the same area. Uh, I just think it's fun that way, and uh, I've enjoyed doing it. So, they were tasked with coming up with a name for their plant for this year, and it could not be any of those other four names. It had to be something unique. Now, I found out that they came up with a name, and I love this name. This name is fantastic. And the teacher told me she had nothing to do with this name. She had no influence on it. Not the name, not the voting, nothing. The name that they came up with is completely unique to those second graders, and I love it. And I know my daughter is going to love this name because she's seen this movie like 20 times, literally. <laughs> so. Without further ado, everybody, the second grade classroom's single seed challenge plant this year is named Tiny Elvis. <laughs> I love it. Tiny Elvis. How, how, I mean, come on, that is awesome. Awesome. So, Tiny Elvis is their plant's name, and I always like to kind of keep them in the same area. So, my plant this year will be named Priscilla. Why not? Priscilla and Elvis. Elvis and Priscilla. I, I just think it, it, they go well together. And yet again, the minds of second graders came up with this and I love it, Tiny Elvis. I mean, <laughs> so hey, everybody watching, if you all love this name, give the video a thumbs up, drop some comments down below um, so the kiddos can see just how awesome of a name they came up with. I just, <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so now that we know the name of the plants this year. Let's talk about some actual gardening advice for tomato plants. And if you don't have any experience with tomato seedlings to tomato plants, definitely watch this next part. Um, this is tomato 101 right here, <laughs> trust me. Okay, so I'm gonna make this really quick and brief. A tomato plant, when it starts to grow, basically the stalks basically get these little hairs on them. And the best thing to do when they're growing at this stage right here is to do what I'm about to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this container right there to the bottom of those first set of leaves. Right there. Okay, so what that will do is those hairs will become roots. So the more soil you can stack up around the base of your tomato seedlings, before you get them out into the garden, the more root system the tomato plant will have, which will mean it's a stronger, more viable, mature plant when you put it out in the garden and it's ready to start producing. Now, right here in zone 9A, we have about a month until the last expected frost date of March 1st. So these plants will probably be very tall. Will probably be, you know, a foot, foot and a half or so tall when they're ready to go out there. And the more of a root system you can give a tomato plant prior to transplanting, the better that plant will be. So let's do it. So all I'm gonna use is the same seed starting mix. And 
what we'll do is we'll start on my plant because I if there's a if there's any damage I don't want it to be on the second grade classrooms plant that is for sure that's all I'm going to do for now I'm going to put water in around it and I'm going to let the water actually stick the uh, the soil to the plant Okay, so as you can see right there, this plant now has soil all the way up to these first leaves, which means all those little hairs down there will become roots over time. So now let's do the Superstars plant, which is tiny Elvis. I love it. And when doing this stage, obviously you want to be really careful with the stalk because the tomato plant stalk is still very tender, very soft. And that's why I'm using the water to pack the soil in around it. I don't want to really push down and cause any damage. That would not be good. I would be very, 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 very upset. All right, and there we go. Now that plant, tiny Elvis here, is going to have a great root system. And so will Priscilla right there. All right, everybody, so that's the update for the Single Seed Challenge 2023 here on Down Home Backyard Gardening. I think this is update number two. And again, we're only two weeks in, and look how much growth those plants already have. Uh, and the name, I mean, seriously, how great is that name? So. I'm excited, everybody. I hope everyone's out there that's watching these videos has started or is getting ready to start their own single seed challenge. Hopefully you're getting kids involved. To me, that's the most important thing with this challenge. And again, I always commend Scott Head for coming up with this idea. Uh, again, I just, I love the teaching aspect. And for the teacher who's taking it into the classroom, uh, you know, hats off to you. It's awesome, I love it. And I wish more teachers would get involved. It would be great to involve more kids. So food for thought out there if there's any teachers watching. Everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. You know, as always, until next time, take care, God bless. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. <clears throat> All right, hey everybody, it's been 15 days since I started.